Hello. In my last video, I demonstrated the dangers of two large neodymium magnets coming together with my hand caught in between. Now, to make that video, we used special effects and we used props. Today, I'm going to repeat the exercise. There's going to be no special effects, no props. Just two of these ferocious magnets and my hand in between the whole time. Right. Here we have it, the moment of truth. I have the two magnets in place. Each one of these magnets will pull 300 kilos and my hand is in between and my hand is going to stay there the whole time. Obviously, I am feeling a little bit nervous at the moment. Uh, it's an awesome feeling to be releasing the magnets and keeping your hand in the whole of the time. So, here goes. Luckily for my hand, these magnets are now in repulsion. I've turned the top magnet over so that the north pole of the top magnet is repelling the north pole of the bottom magnet. Now when these magnets come to rest, they are actually floating with a gap of 150 millimeters and as I apply force to the top magnet they get closer together but we're going to need a lot of force to make them touch. How much force do we need? Well I weigh 100 kilos can these magnets support my weight? Let's see. If I take uh, a block of wood Put it on top of the magnets, we can see the gap has closed by a small amount. I'm now going to stand on this piece of wood and we're going to see what happens. At the moment I'm stood on the magnets, my whole body weight is supported by a magnetic field. The top magnet and bottom magnet are 15 millimetres apart and yet I'm able to move, to spin around. Now to make these magnets touch each other we would need a weight of 300 kilos. If we apply a weight of 300 kilos the top magnet would be sat on top of the bottom magnet. Now I hope you found the video interesting. If you have please visit us at www.firstfourmagnets.com. Thank you very much.